Hi guys, you're welcome back to the Lores Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be providing autocomplete suggestions. If you want to provide suggestions to users as the type, you can use a subclass of a D text called Autocomplete Text View. To implement autocomplete, you must specify an adapter that provides the text suggestions. There are several kinds of adapters available depending on where the data is coming from, such as from a database or an array. So I'll actually be showing an example on how to integrate the autocomplete suggestions in an Android application. We're actually going to be using the string array to uh, achieve this uh, particular analysis. So I'm actually going to start a new Android Studio project by where I'm going to call it autocomplete. Click next. But the next, let's go for an empty activity. Let's make it simple and short. And uh, actually be introducing uh, the autocomplete text view tag. You no, know, that's very, very uh, basic. So going straight to the rest, the layout, activity main, XML. Problem, we'll get to fix the renderings. Lay down now, uh, right there in the text view. I don't need this, I don't even need the relative layout, so I'm actually going to take away uh, the relative layout uh, view. Let me just take this away. Can you see this? So, I actually, or let me just uh, modify something right there in the relative layout. Let me modify to auto complete text view just this way. Uh, you have it set. Uh, right there. So I'm actually going to take away this. So mate, need one more. I'll take away the text view. Auto complete. Rest. Android. That's fine. Uh, I can even set out like this, but let me just let me do it this way. So I take away this. I don't need this. Now it can't be empty. You need to pass in some values. The first will be the Android ID. ID. Baba is going to be let's assign an ID called autocomplete because we're actually going to be populating a list of countries with alphabet A country we need a layout for tonight that's basic layout width which will be wrap content and also we need out right which will also be wrap content so we're fine the autocomplete uh, text view is set I'll uh, we'll actually be creating a string uh, XML which is actually going to we have it ready but we're going to be passing String array. It's called a string array. Over we have name, which is be which will be countries array. Have it set. Now we're going to pass on the first item, which Afghanistan. That's for the first. Second item will be Albania. We have Algeria. We have 
American Samoa. Dora Angola Anguilla plus a set of few as as probably one more. Called the Antarctica, that's fine. We have the string array, you can decide to add more, but let's uh keep at that. After this, we head straight to the Java class right there in the main activity and the on create method. Uh, we're going to get a reference to the autocomplete in the layout. So let's get a reference. So we call the auto complete text view. Give it an object called text view equals so the text view now we need to find a view by ID. We'll call the R. that's the ID we assign to the layout activity main, which is uh the autocomplete country. Just this way we need to get the string array. This can actually be from the database, depends on how where you're fetching your data from. So actually using a string array, what we call on countries, we get resources, we get the string array, now we call the arrays. Countries array that's fine we get to create the adapter and set it right there to the autocomplete view you have to create that it's called the array adapter in the string is a string data type as an object adapter is the sheet with the new array adapter now this class called the layout android layout now we're going to use an inbuilt adapter which is called a simple list item view you know this actually exists right inside android provide that for us this is a layout provided by android that provides a standard appearance for text in the list you know so now we call the countries as they are in question this time we call the text view objects sets adapter Pass that up to object as parameter right there. This is how to instantiate uh, the autocomplete text view, and uh, you need to attach an adapter to it. Very important. You can use the input adapter from Android, they are all they are for list items anyway. So that's just there for you to use. And uh, you can also be getting your data from an array. You can see the way I created an array right inside the string or you can actually be calling from an external source you know that's just how that's just the two ways you can actually uh, get uh, data for the autocomplete so we'll get to look at this right there in the uh, emulator so let me run it and let's see how it's 
goes. So here we go with the auto application, the auto complete. So let's try uh, some fields or some text input. Let's go Algeria. And see, we start to see something similar. So we can easily pick it. Or let let me type something longer like Afghanistan. You see that? So I can easily click on it. I have Afghanistan set. So that's just the autocomplete aspect uh, we're talking about. Let me go for Antarctica. Antarctica. Can you see? This is an autocomplete. You click on it, autocomplete uh, what you are uh, about uh, giving. So that's just how to create an autocomplete, right? In your text input. Know, still on the best practice you know when it comes to user input you know anywhere you need to integrate autocomplete please do and uh, jive off jive up your application let it uh, actually be user experience appealing and uh, make sure you optimize it to the level that uh, it's actually going to uh, get a, a good grade when it comes to user experience uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout uh, this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye -bye.